his name escapes me at the moment. Uh, he, he was a guy who had been, I mentioned him so you can check on it, uh, he was a guy who had been a, a, a great Canadian uh, 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 person on international... Pearson? Pearson, yes, yes. okay. So Pearson great came Prime in, uh, okay, uh, 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 then he retired and, uh, 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 and the government took over. Now, anyway, they had the attitude of course, the science was supposed to help the government. I mean, the, the, the science would be a thing which w w was not just supposed to, but I mean, it would help the government. I mean, and the government would prosper if, if they could do, use the science, okay? And so one of the big things that was done was the pollution studies, and one of the most important ones was acid rain. Now, the results of that was not, of course, that the government hid under the carpet that there was acid <laughs> rain, okay? They decided, well, we've got to solve the problem, okay? And so they set up something like a hundred measurement stations across Canada, okay? And, and, and so they found out what the problem was and where the sources were, and they were uh, uh, quite willing uh, uh, to go after uh, uh, the, uh, the people in Canada, but more than half the pollution was coming from the United States, okay? So anyway, uh, uh, I got involved in this. I also got involved in running a program on what we call social aspects of engineering, in which all the graduate and all the graduating engineers had to take two courses uh, in a, a, a variety of things related to, to the social consequences of engineering. That's interesting. Okay, uh, and uh, so uh, anyway, that program ran up until '98 when I retired.